In today's video, I'm going to use Blockbench, a Minecraft mob creator tool to combine two mobs into one, and then import them into Minecraft as a mod. How will they turn out? Stick around and find out. Alright guys, so we are here in the Wheel of Names. We have all Minecraft mobs in one wheel. It's a pretty big wheel. We're going to spin it twice to see which two mobs we get for this first one. So, here we go. Spin it for the first time. Let's see what we land on. Alright, it's coming to a stop. And we got, looks like Llama. Llama is our first mob. Alright, let's close that. Now gonna spin it again let's see what mob shall we get this time it's funny if we got llama again but we got a lay we got an lay so we're gonna make a llama a lay hybrid oh boy this is gonna get weird all right guys so we are here in block bench ready to make a llama a lay Hybrid, I guess, if you want to call it. Uh, no need to look at the, the recents. Let's just open the Minecraft Entity Wizard. Alright, let's make a new mob. So this is going to be a llama. I don't know, a llama. A lay. Or just call it that. And next. So, okay, appearance. Let's do the appearance of an a lay. And then the behavior. Yeah, let's do the same behavior for that one. Oh, we need to make a spawn egg for this one. Alright, so let's kind of make it... Like, okay, just mix them both, I guess. So here, that looks pretty good. And then an overlay color, kind of like, uh, I guess that looks pretty good. And then you can just do this. And then let's edit our model. All right, so we are here. We've got an LA and we need to, um, we need to change this. All right, so first I think we need to make this head a little bit bigger. Um, the textures are looking a little bit weird, but, uh, that's okay. We can also make it a little bit taller. What on earth is happening here? Alright, guys, I made it, um, just regular col colors this time. But anyways, we got a head going. Well, let's make it a little bit shorter. Um, that looks pretty good, but let's now make a another cube. Alright, so we can just, uh, I think we should go ahead and move it up here. These are gonna be, like, kind of like the horns, I guess, on the top. Move it there, good, and let's resize it, so like, maybe something not quite as big like that, or maybe this would look pretty good, I, I don't really know guys, I'm not, oh wait, uh, that work, that did not work, I'm not the best at block bench, but, you know, I'm trying, uh, that could look like a llama, I guess, um, but this is, using the LA model, so, <laughs> uh, it may look a little bit funky, but these, however, this will be used as a nose. Alright guys, this is looking, I think it's looking pretty good, I should probably extend that one down. Kinda looks like a pig, but it's fine, we can now paint this though. Um, I'm not too familiar with the, um, paint tool, but, you know, we'll try. I think first we should probably fill in the nose. Alright, so we got this nice beige color that we can fill all of it in with. And actually, in the meanwhile, let's just, um, let's just fill all the faces with it. Um, oh, shoot. Did not, okay, undo that, um. But in the meanwhile, yeah, we can just fill everything in. Alright, and we're now gonna focus on the nose a little bit. Um, so let's get a, a lighter brown, kind of fill it in like that. And, oh. Yeah, it should also kind of wrap around the sides, kind of like this, I think. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Maybe, would it go under? You know what? That, it's going to stay like that. We also have to do the inside of the ears, so you can do that. And, oh, it's already starting to look like a llama. Oh, it looks so cute, even though I didn't add any eyes yet. So we can go ahead and uh, do that right now. Um, with this, no, that's that's not it for now. Let's move it up one. Yes, that looks a lot better than around the top. Oh, uh, <laughs> this 
Uh, as you can see, I'm not the best at this, so let's undo maybe something like that. That, yes, that looks like a llama. So we also need a tail, so um, I think I can just erase things and where? I don't think I'm doing this correctly. All right, so now I have like the tail area mapped out, so we can just start like kind of deleting squares, I guess, to make like a nice tail, I guess. Uh, you know what, guys? Um, <laughs> that's the best I can do. So um, I think I'm just gonna leave it there, or I I think I'll make it worse. However, what we can do is we can select this beige color, and then down here we can just slightly alter it, and then if we just do this, we can um. I don't think I did that right. Uh, pick the same color. But if I just alter it a tiny bit, then I can get an extra color. Oh, I, I thought it wasn't working, but I, I, I can just barely see it. That's why. And you know what, guys? This is actually looking pretty good for um, not using block bench in a while. Uh, that looks pretty good, actually. So we can actually kind of animate it if we wanted to. I think right now it just has the Allays animations. Yeah, this this is what we got so far. And it'll just fly around, I guess. It also has the um, behaviors of an Allay. So I think this looks pretty good. I think I'm going to keep it like that. So um, yeah, let's get this into Minecraft now. Okay, guys. Finally, I think... It should work. So if I just search for my item, which is, I called it llama. Is that it? That's it. Let's go. Let's see if this works. All right, I'm gonna let's clear up some grass. Let's uh, spawn it and oh, it worked. Oh my gosh, guys. Hold on, let me see its face. I, I, I Let me see its face. That is a, okay, if I could see it. I, I spent like a good three hours trying to debug the problem. It would not let me do this, but it would just kept failing and everything. But wow, does that look? Why is it so fast? I think I set the movement speed a little bit too high, but that I think looks amazing. Actually, let's get a good look at this guy. Let's get a nice glass cage for him. Now, isn't he cute? We got a llama, a lay. Look at him. I thought he would fly because I set the behavior as um. <laughs> for him to fly but you know what that is okay he still looks pretty good the tail came out better than i actually thought it would um but yeah that looks really good now guys let's move on to mob number two all right guys we're here for mob number two let's see what we oh we, oh, we almost got llama again but we got silverfish all right that is an interesting one for sure all right but let's see what our next mob will be so it's gonna be a silverfish and a a stray it looks like it's okay this is gonna be another weird mob like the other one all right guys we are back here in block bench let's see um what is this a silver this is a silverfish and a stray so let's uh oh i uh, need a i don't know what this is let me hold on all right let's see should we do the appearance of a stray do we a stray is even in here should we do it of a silverfish or a stray actually i don't even know if strays are on here let's um yeah i don't think it's on here so it looks like we're forced to go with silverfish um it doesn't matter the behavior don't really care about that and let's export all right so this guys is what we have to work with i don't know how i'm gonna make this work i'm gonna have to <laughs> think for a little bit so i guess we can first start by uh making the model just a little <laughs> a little bit bigger i i guess that works all right, so let's make, I think I have an idea. We're gonna make um, kind of like a hand with these. Um, this is gonna be a bit tight to squeeze in, so we're gonna have to make it um, a little, just a little bit smaller. So let's just squeeze it down like this, and we're gonna try and make a hand out of this tiny little cube. You know, guys, <laughs> I, I can't really tell if this is um, good looking or not, but, um, 
it's just gonna have to work for now because <laughs> that's the best that i can do so let's go ahead and <clears throat> copy this whole thing <clears throat> to the other side now we shall um add like this orb i guess in the middle that this is um somewhat holding up i guess yeah the um, it doesn't this doesn't really make sense this whole thing but we're gonna have to make it work you know guys i think i've somewhat made a ball uh <laughs> with this one i don't think it's gonna get any better than this these are kind of like the stray arms i guess and we'll of course texture it like this but anyway let's create a new texture well guys i had to make the hands a little bit chunkier so that i could uh texture this properly but it is all right we're gonna still be smooth sailing so i think we should probably work on the orb first so let's just texture the whole thing white just so we know what we have to work with all right, so actually I decided to change it up a little bit, go with a little bit lighter blue, but that is okay. So now we should try to like, maybe like make a circle kind of, just like an orb, I guess. I don't <clears throat> really know how I would do this, but we're, we're gonna do, okay, that's not what I meant to do. Hold up. So something kind of like this, and then I guess I could probably go ahead and make the insides a little darker maybe. My plan is to make it so that um, this uh, stray fish, is what I'm going to call it, kind of shoots um, projectiles from the orb, I guess. If that makes any sense, the orb is kind of like a magic ball of mag- It's just a magic, okay? Trust the process. Alright, now that the ball looks good, we should probably move on to the hands. Um mainly the wrists actually i think i'm gonna start with like this part just make sure to get that part good and i'm gonna make it kind of like a darker um darker blue i guess all right guys so um we are going to try to do a little something here with the face i guess so let's switch over back to the paintbrush kind of like how we did the llama do something like this and then just pitch black for the eye <laughs> I guess that could look good, maybe. Could add, like, a little derp face, like a, just a lined pattern or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, let's not, let's not do that. But with some different colors, maybe we could make, like, a tiny little nose, I guess. Sort of like that. And now we could probably texture the rest just by using subtle colors. Um, not like that, though such as a more subtle color like this you can kind of barely see it but it's still visible if you know if you know what i mean and i think this looks um pretty good or okay so we could check this guy out in the animations tab and i don't okay you can actually see through that i should probably uh, fix that but now we can um, watch our little silverfish go, I guess. <laughs> um, we could try to animate like the, the ball to move up and down if I wanted to. Which I, I may try to do, actually. And I've actually kind of managed to make the ball go up and down. As you can see here, it'll go up. Um, yeah, it'll just go up and then it'll go down. That, and then I guess it just repeats like that. So... Uh, now that that looks good, let's make sure to save this, and then let's import this mob into Minecraft. Alright guys, we are here in Minecraft, testing this out for the first time. I have the uh, spawn egg right here. I also decided to make a um, a creative tab for this. Um, the, the, the eggs didn't quite spawn in here, but I'll make sure to fix that. So, let's check out how our stray fish is what I'm going to call it. It's running right here and oh <coughs> excuse me that looks uh, pretty good i like the it is moving backwards right now um i think i put the face on possibly the wrong side but you know what that could just be the cooler perk of it so if we kill it um i also might drop an arrow um i think though if we go to game if we go to survival mode and we do this should attack me yep it's a, oh Dude, this thing does a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, this thing is attacking me. Alright, let's uh, let's kill it. Uh, but yeah, so I did make it so that it will follow you. It is a aggressive mob. 
And yeah, I think it is it's an okay mob. I wouldn't I wouldn't call it the my favorite. I wouldn't call it the best either. I still like the uh the, the llama alay a lot, but uh I still think it has potential. So anyways, now that we've done this, let's move on to one final mob of the episode. All right, the first mob is Wither Skeleton. And finally, we have the goat. Let's see how this mob turns out. All right, guys, for the final time, we are in the log bench, ready to make a Wither Skeleton goat. All right, guys, we have our goat model already set up, actually. Um, but there's not much that I really want to do to this thing, but I will do one thing to start off with. And that, guys, is giving it a, ready for this, a goat tea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bad jokes aside, it is, uh, <laughs> it's time to texture this thing, so let's, let's create a new texture. So obviously, first we are going to we're going to paint the goatee black because um we just gotta start with this the best part of the model <laughs> so far we just gotta do it so let's make sure to get the underside and the backside looking nice and great I guess and of course guys we can't forget the little gray details I guess like kind of like the streaks of the goatee because you know why not it's gotta gotta look stylish you also could probably get a darker gray just in here maybe probably even darker than that just like yes that is a good color for this and actually guys i think i'm gonna paint the whole goat this um grayish color because it is gonna be a wither skeleton goat so it has to um kind of be like gray like the wither skeleton so i have a plan for this i'm planning to like make it so that when it attacks you it'll give you the poison effect or no the wither effect um kind of like a wither skeleton that's that's how i'm gonna make it kind of like a wither skeleton well that's the plan at least i don't know if it's gonna work though <laughs> but first before we do any oh that is the wrong thing uh but first let's just get the nice eye in here so one there and then one here and then of course we need to get the white part I'm also, while looking at reference, noticing that the uh, the tip is kind of a darker part, so I'm just going to make it pitch black, just like this. Kind of make it go down a little bit. I think that'll look pretty good. And then, again, can come in with those minor details, just like on the side. Probably no one will notice them, but that is okay. And that looks pretty good. We got this little kind of design right here, so we're going to copy it to the other side making sure that that also looks up to par and guys as i like to say randomness usually makes things look a little bit better so if they're both not the exact same on both sides it is okay so just gotta make some more streak lines like this but yeah that looks pretty good for the face now let's move on to the rest of the body now for the horns let's make sure to fill it in with a nice uh light gray because that is usually what the color of the horns are and then i guess we can kind of detail it with some other things i think i saw like unusual ghosts kind of like a spiral formation up the side i'm not 100 uh, percent sure about that but we can go ahead and try it because this is for um science and experimentation and now guys i think that the um <coughs> what is this thing the goat model and textures are looking really good. Um, I kind of finished the whole thing. Um, it looks, it looks kind of, it looks really good, like a, like a mixture of the two. But now we have to get this into Minecraft, which hopefully should not take me as long as the other two did. All right, guys, I have made it into Minecraft. We have the withered goat spawn egg. Now let's uh, see how it turned. Oh my goodness! That is, that is beautiful. I think this, oh, this looks amazing. I think this is my favorite uh, mob yet, guys. And I think I made it so that if we go into survival mode, he shall attack me. Oh, yes, he does attack me. 
I think he's gonna kill me now. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he packs a punch. Okay, where am I? But yeah, guys, this mob looks. I think it's my my best one yet. I also like the the goat tea. Uh, anyways, it does take a. If I could hit it, it's four hits to kill. Drops coal. But yeah, I think this mob is really cool. Um, but that does, however, now conclude the ending of this video, guys. If you would like to see a part two or me do some more modded stuff with Block Bench, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see me do in the future. Um, anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.